Now, as a company and as a business unit, there are three elements that we need to make sure that we fully enable within the data center. The first is zero horizon planning. So the idea of there's a three, four year window before the next turn of data center occurs is simply a thing of the past. With all the virtualization that's gone on right now, companies need to be able to understand not just at a technology level, a disk level, a server level, what's available to them and how they should grow as an organization, but planning needs to expand up to another level. It needs to expand to a cloud level. It needs to be able to consider insourcing versus outsourcing and CIOs need to have all of those elements available to them so that they can not only make technological decisions, but more importantly, business decisions that are going to enable new streams of revenue. The second aspect is continuous business optimization. Now I know that's a mouthful, but what it really says is when all those workloads and services are deployed, are there continually better ways through things like application performance management or workload portability to be able to get more value out of the existing infrastructure, as opposed to having latent capacity hanging around that's simply costing businesses money and costing them profitability. And last but not least is immediate opportunity exploitation. So sometimes good things happen and sometimes bad things happen. So in the notion of a new capability or a new service, being able to, through things like DevOps, deploy very, very quickly tying together application and infrastructure management through automation. And in the case of available services under the covers, whether that be network, servers, storage, having elastic capacity available to meet the demand, both in the short term and the long term. So these three elements together really make up an overall portfolio that will allow IT organizations to regain command and control within the dynamic data center and address the needs of their lines of business. You know, as an organization and as a company, CA is tremendously committed to the mainframe business and to the System Z evolution that's going on right now. We spend nearly $200 million of R&D. We understand that you build a great IT organization from the technology base that you have out. And what we're all about is extending and maximizing our customers' value in their System Z investment and making sure it is a collaborative and viable and growing piece within their dynamic data center. As part of the evolution of IT organizations, we tend to think about our portfolio more as a platform. And I know people will say, well, all you're talking about is Chorus. And Chorus is a big element of that overall platform. But I'd like to talk to the platform in terms of the general thoughts and the general capabilities that we have to bring into all of our solutions. The first is a flexible user experience. You know, you just kind of think about in this world of IT, things like high availability solutions, disaster recovery, and in those cases, that often lends to solutions like hardened unmanned data centers. Well, if that's the case, the console is just simply not available to be able to manage, monitor, and update performance. So that flexible user experience gives IT organizations and that next generation of users the ability to work, conduct business, and stay healthy no matter where they are on the planet. And that may mean web solutions, it certainly means mobile solutions, and in some cases it will be a continuation of existing green screen solutions. And the management platform in and of itself has also got to change. If you remember, System Z has got to be able to play as an integral part of the data center, not as an independent silo separate than the rest of the distributed data center. And in that regard, the platform needs to be available to run in any configuration, not just simply on ZOS, but on Linux, on Windows, and be available based on the technology and the business considerations that IT organizations have. And last but not least, as a company, we're certain that we don't have a market on all the good ideas. But what we want to be able to do is bring new types of information to the equation, to the party quickly, to allow IT organizations to understand their environment, to make sure there's complete visibility across the enterprise, across their cloud, across their data center, and quickly integrate new third-party technologies, which can be combined in the way that we're delivering capabilities to deliver new levels of insight. As an organization, 
we're really focused on four aspects within the mainframe organization to deliver against the dynamic data center. The first is maximizing asset utilization. We want our customers, when they invest in technology like System Z, to get the absolute maximum amount of value they can get. Now that value isn't necessarily limited to System Z in and of itself, but it's also capacity that allows them to not have to invest in other areas, whether it be networks or the ongoing cost of x86 blades, or even more importantly as we think about transforming the management paradigm, not having to add resources every time a new solution or service is deployed. And in fact, when we think about solutions like infrastructure management, as part of the Chorus platform, we're combining network management, systems management, and database management to deliver a type of insight that's never been available from a single pane of glass. And in the past, this was at least three applications and three people trying to figure out how to solve a problem where the next generation of workers can look across all three of those areas and quickly come to conclusion about how the business is performing. And it's critically important that everything we do not be limited to System Z, but again, be collaborative as part of the overall data center. As an example, our workload agents have got to work from any place on the cloud, whether that be with a SaaS-based application or a custom in-house application. And the overall agent management has got to be easy to deploy and provide unprecedented levels of visibility and drive as much automation as possible within the infrastructure. And last but not least, from a systems management perspective, because there are just limitations on workers and they're having to play different roles than they've ever played in the past, having mobile solutions so that regardless of their location, regardless of where they are, from a geographical perspective, they get the level of insight, they get the level of information, and they have the management capabilities to go and run their data centers. So this is where it all comes together. The data center is absolutely dynamic, and it's up to IT organizations to really respond in an unprecedented way. At the end of the day, it's nothing more than simple Darwinism. Only the best organizations will survive. And for each of our customers right now, they're concerned about where IT is going to be in the next generation. Will it be simply decomposed as parts of the line of business, driving risk and creating more blind spots and creating more complexity? Or will IT organizations respond in the area of people and role evolution, in the area of process, really understanding and deploying on DevOps, in the area of tools with capabilities like Chorus, and in the area of technology with the System Z platform, and combining all of those elements together to be the solution to business enablement and be the solution to delivering the dynamic data center.